The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I wanna be. I'll be home for a couple of days, wander around with you. You and me in the cold, thought it'd never be true. Wherever I go, I got you. Oh, I have stopped running, there is no way trying. You better loosen your belts. Drinking hot wine by the fire, don't care of anything else. It's Christmas. Welcome to 25 Days of Christmas, an Advent podcast where we take a look at a Christmas movie or special every day until December 25th. I'm Patricia, and I'm here with my sister, Curly. Hello, everyone. So today we're going to be talking about a classic Christmas special from 1965. We're talking about a Charlie Brown Christmas based off of the Peanuts comic strips by Charles Schultz. This is the very first of the Peanuts adaptations that was animated and has become a staple every single year on CBS. But uh, nowadays, it's on Apple TV. So if you have an Apple TV subscription, you can go check it out. And it's the story of Charlie Brown feeling really depressed about Christmas, not feeling really excited about it, seeing all his friends becoming commercial, such as his dog Snoopy entering a uh, doghouse contest with Christmas lights and everybody asking for money for Christmas. And Lucy tells him that he needs to be involved in something so she brings him over to be the director of their Christmas play he tries to do a good job of it but he keeps screwing it up Uh, nobody's listening to him he buys the wrong Christmas tree and he just doesn't feel in the Christmas spirit so again as we mentioned before this is like one of the definitive Christmas special classics alongside with Rudolph and how the Grinch stole Christmas so let's talk about what our thoughts of it so uh, what do we like about this special? Well, I think I heard you just mention, you know, that he didn't like certain parts of Christmas, like how it was happening among his friends. But I think one of what I got from it, the story, is that he doesn't know, he doesn't seem to know what the true meaning of Christmas is. Mm-hmm. And what he's seeing around him doesn't feel good enough to him. You know, he doesn't want it to be about you know, the best lights or the best decorations. And he doesn't want it to be about asking for all the things on your wish list or he doesn't want it to be about those things. He's trying to find like for it to mean more and for it to be about something else. And he doesn't feel like he really knows what the true meaning is. A lot of people don't really like Charlie Brown until he even says about why should we have a holiday where we have to emphasize how much we like each other when nobody even likes me. So I think what I really enjoyed, like... I, I must have seen this before. I mean, it's one of those things like, yeah, you, like, you haven't seen Charlie. So I know I've seen it at some point, but I, I didn't, I, I guess in the past, I've never sat down to really watch it and kind of understand it piece by piece. But I really enjoyed this. Mm-hmm. I thought it was funny. Like, and I was telling Patty, like, I haven't seen enough of the Charlie Brown, like, programming yeah. to really know much about their characters. I just know them in theory. So, like, watching him out, I kept asking Patty, like, am I Charlie Brown? <laughs> because I'm so, like, him. Like, I'm very, like, I'm a complainer. I'm neurotic. So, like, and he's just kind of, like, a whiner. You know, he's so whiny. And I'm like, that's me, you know? So, but it was just funny. Like, I, I, I liked that it was very light and funny and easy. But, like, the deep, like, the deep question is, what is the true meaning of Christmas? Yeah. And so I like how they had... You know, I don't know his name. Is it Linus? Linus. Like, explain what, like, the true meaning of Christmas should be. And um, and I, I think I read somewhere, heard somewhere that, like, they were afraid when they were making this movie um, about the controversy around talking about, like, a religious reason behind Christmas. And yeah. And putting that on television. Mm-hmm. And, but the reaction was a positive one, so they, like, breathed a sigh of relief. But it was really, a, they were really nervous or afraid because... It had that religious component and that spiritual component, which a lot of people are uncomfortable with. Yeah. But um, I, I liked it. I thought, I like, I don't know what style of animation this is. It's the, it. yeah, it's the regular 2D animation. It's just with the style of Charles Schultz's drawings. Mm-hmm. I love that. Um, I liked Charlie Brown. Like, 
Yeah. He hits home for me. I, you know, I see a little bit of me and him. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Me, I don't yeah, I mean, all the characters are iconic. There's Charlie Brown, Lucy, Linus. Loved, there's one that I really I thought was so funny. Like, he was, like, asking her, like, you know, what she wanted for Christmas. And she's like, I never get what I want for Christmas. And I'm like, well, what, are, what do you get for Christmas? I always get shoes or toys or clothes. And, and you're, like, looking at this little girl, like, what more do children want? Like, that's literally everything they want, you know? And then he's, and she's like, oh, I never get real estate. <laughs> right? Real estate was a real estate. Real estate it was, is real estate. It was so funny to me. I just thought it was so funny. Yeah, exactly. And, and how old are these children? Like nine? <laughs> yeah, I, just, I thought it was witty. Like, even though it's geared for children and even though, like, uh, they, it's a, they are, the characters are children, like, there's that level, that depth that, like, an adult can enjoy. Exactly, because they talk so sophisticatedly. Yeah, and, and not only sophisticatedly they're talking, but... Like, the, the content of what they're saying, you know, can captivate an adult audience. Mm -hmm. So, I, I like the story. It's, it's simple. It's 25 minutes. I yeah. Think, and, like, honestly, it feels almost a little bit short. Like, we're so... I'm, I'm so used to, you know, marathoning. I can marathon a show, no, no problem. I can yeah. watch a long movie, no problem. Especially if it's enjoyable. Obviously, when we start getting to, like, being heavy, then you're out of there. But it felt really short so you almost were leave at the end like feeling like oh man i wish there was a little more yeah i, I mean it, unlike something that we've seen over the past few weeks where it was like 45 minutes special mm -hmm. but it felt a lot longer yeah but this one it just felt right yeah to me it even felt short so but um i like the characters i like the story i think it's funny i like the the, the overall question that's a deep question and taking like a light-hearted approach to a very deep question yeah and of course the music mm. the music mm -hmm. is just as iconic to christmas as the special yeah and i think in a previous podcast you guys have heard me mention that i've been listening to like the best christmas music or like the top rated christmas music for the season so just kind of have that like to help you get in the spirit and of course you're going to have music from charlie brown there yeah so you know this music is, is rated as the best christmas music a lot of children really like the jazz atmosphere that a lot of these peanut shorts have even to the point in which they actually did the music for the peanuts movie you remember the blue sky studios movie that happened a few years ago i don't think i've seen it yeah we saw it in the theater oh did i okay <laughs> see that's why I, I rely on patty to keep a my memory for all things watched <laughs> but i um another thing like i think it's always funny and like i use it and this is just goes to show you when something's well made um or like well enjoyed you kind of add it to your life you know yeah. what i mean like i love mulan a lot and i'm always singing or referencing something from mulan or any other movie like i reference movies a lot because i enjoy them yeah and so for charlie brown like Whatever I'm like feisty with someone, I always said, do you want to have like a dirt pile? Like, and then I imagine, you know, the little dirty kid. Oh, pig pen. Yeah. Pig pen. You see how he has like that dust around him? Yeah. Or like when there's, when there's fighting and Charlie Brown, they have like that dust. Yeah. 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 So I always mention that, you know, like as obviously a veiled threat, like mm -hmm. even though. Yeah. But, um, so it's just one of those things. Like if it's, it's, if something is impactful, you start to see it and notice it in your life and like elements of Charlie Brown, I feel like are in my life and probably a lot of other people's oh place. sure for sure all right so uh, let's talk about how we would see it every year every few years or once and ever again i i like it enough to see it every year but if not every two years or so i have to see it every year okay i i do because this is like in my top three of christmas specials yeah i can see why it's it's, it's great it's fantastic all right so uh let's rate it oh that's tricky i'd probably give it like a four five Wow, Patty, that's your first five. I know. It's just, I mean, this is like true classic. I mean, it's fantastic. I mean, I know I said that um, The Year Without a Santa Claus is my favorite Rankin Bass Christmas specials, and I think I gave it like a four or 4.5, but this is like, it's so good. I mean, wow. everything about it is so fantastic. So yeah, I'm giving it, great. I'm giving it a five. Awesome, Patty. I love that. I love the joy and excitement for giving it a five. Yeah. All right, so that is it with our discussion of A Charlie Brown Christmas. Let us know in the comments below about what your thoughts of it. If you liked our discussion, please uh, like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends, and let us know in the comments below about any other Christmas movies or specials that you want us to cover. Tune in next time as we talk about another Christmas movie or special. So until then, we'll see you later. Bye, guys. Gaze upon the 
sky. Christmas on my mind. Somewhere from a place up high above. There's a song of love. Travel. Seeking us to warm up air.